Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the error code 0xc0000035 that you are experiencing in the event viewer on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, all you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer or external drive. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. So go ahead and double click on that. Do the same thing for the system folder. Same thing for current control set. Double click on it. Same thing for the control folder. Should be a WMI folder. So just make this comma a little bit wider here. And then go down to WMI. And double click on it. And there should be an auto logger folder in here. Double click on that. And then up near the top should say event log minus sign system. Just go ahead and double click on that. And now we're going to look for something that says B675. So that's going to be the first letters we're going to be looking for here. So again, B675. So i got to scroll down a little bit. B675 EC37. And then a bunch of other random text. But... If you need to pause the video at this point, take note of our file paths up at the top of the screen, by the way. Um, each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get here. And now on the right side, you want to locate the enabled key. Double click on it. So you want to set whatever it is now. So value data is currently set to 1. Delete it. Type the number 0. And then you want to select OK. And now you want to do the same thing for the enable property D word value. So double click on it. Set the value data for that to zero as well. And then you want to select OK. And once that is done, you should be able to just go ahead and close out of here. And you will need to restart your computer for the change to take effect. So let's just go ahead and restart our computer here. And hopefully I was able to resolve the problem. One further thing we can do as well is to run a DISM scan. So go ahead and open up the search menu, type in CMD. Best match to come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have a command in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy it and then go to the top part of the command prompt window, right click on it, select edit and then paste it in. Give it a couple minutes to run here.
And once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Pretty straightforward process. Hopefully, I was able to help resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching. Dubai is able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.